I work for Silco Foundation. Silco Foundation is based in Bangalore. So we have, uh, I actually, uh, we are working on, uh, we have livelihoods in our Silco Foundation where we work on the livelihoods in the rural area to provide employment opportunity and also to uh, increase the livelihood for the people who are in rural and also in urban areas. So this is being a ginning machine which is a main part of uh, value chain of cotton. Uh, first, pa first part of value chain of cotton, we are looking into the entire value chain of cotton. Uh, right from the picking cotton to all the way to stitching. Um, what, this one being the first one, what we want to do is we want to make a decentralized solarized uh, uh, cotton processing unit where uh, farmers in a community level or in a village level have this unit running by themselves and sell the cotton um, with addition of value just like uh, if you are selling a cotton it will be around 40 to 50 rupees and if you are selling a gin cotton it will be 70 to 80 rupees then like it if the if it is all the pre-processing is done for the cotton then it can be sold for around 100 rupees or 120 rupees so th thereby adding the value chain and also by by this process there will be employment opportunity created in the villages in rural area and also farmers and uh, will benefit out of this and there will be a increase in local economy and uh, of course the life will be better than the livelihood. This is the purpose of this machine and this is called as ginning machine where we uh, want to remove the seeds out of the cotton uh, this is the raw cotton that comes out of the pod and when the ginning machine is processed uh, uh, the co cotton without seeds comes out and the seed comes out on the other end mm, so yeah this this where the seed comes out uh, so by do, for this being the first process then our, uh, then four more processes are there called as uh, blowing carding uh, drawing rowing and then it is spinning, then it is weaving, and then it is stitching. So all this uh, can be uh, decentralized and can be run on a sustainable energy uh, solution like solar energy, which will enhance the livelihood and also increases the employment opportunity around rural and can also be done in urban areas. This is uh, being our plan. So this is. Uh, uh, Surya cotton which has a staple length of 26 which is a medium staple length and uh, other organic cottons and uh, or when I say organic cotton it has to be desi cotton uh, so this desi cotton comes from small uh, uh, staple length to medium staple length which uh, nowadays mills are built for hybrid cotton which can't process those so we are looking into develop these new machines which can process small staple medium staple and long staple with little change in settings that could help farmer grow uh, desi cotton once again which will which is not so much water is intensive or uh, doesn't need fertilizers and pesticides thereby uh, um, helping our environment also so this this is being the deep root um, agenda of this and, uh, but also it is a uh, some it is something which creates the livelihood also so there are more uh, impacts than what we can see through this. Mm, yeah, that is that. This machine, as of the, like this, will cost around fifty thousand rupees. And uh, when it is solarized, it might cost uh, cost uh, one lakh rupees, something like that. But with the help of the government uh, subsidies or with the um, good connection with the finance finances like bank we can uh, you know bring it down the cost by giving it to an EMI or can also with the help of the subsidies uh, 
uh, thereby helping farmers uh, to have this machine at a community level or village level can also be uh, an entrepreneur who, who wants to uh, do this can have this machine and help farmers and themselves.